Hi, I'm Dr. Robert De Costa, Chief of the Intensive Care Unit at Victor Hospital, Margaon, Goa. The Intensive Care Unit or ICU is a specially dedicated and equipped area in the hospital where critically ill patients are looked at. Conditions like strokes, heart attacks, patients who had COVID with respiratory failure, patients with severe burns, complications of diabetes like diabetic ketoacidosis, patients who have had uh, acute renal failure requiring dialysis are some of the patients that would come to our ICU. These patients are hooked up to machines that monitor their vital parameters like blood pressure, saturations and heart rate. The Victor Hospital has highly trained intensive care physicians who are manning the ICU 24-7. Apart from this, we have ICU trained nurses and respiratory therapists to look after your patients. The Victor Hospital also has the backup of 24 by 7 CT scan, MRI, ultrasonography, X-ray, etc. I will now take you to our ICU to show you what it feels like and looks like inside. This is inside of our ICU. I'm going to take you for a short tour to show you what equipment we have. We'll start with the monitors. The monitors that are hooked up to the patient will monitor their vital parameters. When patients have respiratory distress, we first put them on what is called HFNO or high flow nasal oxygen, and then we try non-invasive ventilation and then ultimately put them on these machines which are full-fledged ventilators. When patients develop heart failure, they require a support called an intraortic balloon pump, which is this machine on this patient. The intraortic balloon pump supports the heart till such time that it recovers. This is a CRRT machine. The CRRT is called Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy. Patients who are with kidney failure require this. It acts as an artificial kidney which run continuously on the patient. So patients who have very low BP and all can be very nicely managed on these machines. If you or any one of you needs such type of care, please think of Victor Hospital.